Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, your boy, the man, Injured to the City with the number two, and see y'all back to you on this Monday. On this Monday, reporting to you on back to school, on back to school, on back to back to school, back to school. Yeah, not the bad school album, but this is topics of bad school. Um, so here's how it goes. Um, here's how it goes. The report that I was just watching on Action News Jax, Action News Jax. Um, they was reporting about again St. John's County, and actually I should look it up. Um, so I was trying to look it up on Action News Jax website but I guess I gotta go and go type in St. John's County and a uh, school district and hopefully it'll pop up because it was about rezoning um, and so forth and so forth St. John's County rezoning how there's certain kids that are saying oh I've been to three schools in six years or something like that or I've been to three schools in however uh, much time now God bless all those kids and their parents and so forth and so forth, because again, all much love and encouragement to you, and so forth and so forth on getting the comfort. Because if I'm gonna be humane here, getting the comfort that you need to, you know, to I want to say, um, stay sane, stay settled, stay comfortable in a uh, safe, steady, and humane environment to once again help uh, grow and improve your learning. And your IQ and other stuff like that, you get the point. So, um, in many cases, in many ways, I do want the kids to, you know, once again, you know, um, be where they feel comfortable uh, learning in the school system that they feel comfortable learning in. When it comes to, of course, they're flocking over here, St. John's County, but I want them to definitely get to school, get to the school that they feel like it's going to help them definitely the best at, at, you know, at flourishing throughout the next four or five years and definitely go to college and flourish there because again I look forward to meeting some of these kids if not every last one of them and their parents eventually and talking to them about their opinion of St. John's County and their opinion of our schools and everything else, and everything else like that because once again I'm an ambassador for all of this I'm an ambassador for all of this for the growth and development in St. John's County I'm an ambassador for Nocturne I'm an ambassador for Ponte Vida I'm an ambassador for St. Augustine I'm an ambassador for Nice I'm an ambassador for Pacific Bay Middle School I'm an ambassador for for a Valerie Academy, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much an ambassador for all this stuff. An ambassador for Florida. I'm an ambassador for all this further growth and development. I'm an ambassador for everything I just named it and even more. And be like, what makes you an ambassador? Easy, because I promote it as, I promote it like an ambassador. I keep talking about it as an ambassador. I talk it up legitimately all the time. Le legitimately all the time. I talk up all these schools. I talk up the county. I talk up the state. I talk it all up. I, I talk about a little bit of my music. You can go to my song called Ibis Cove, where I shout out Patriot Oaks, Liberty Pines, um, Valley Ridge, and whatever else schools. I'm promoting this stuff. I'm promoting the county, the school district, the, the state. I'm promoting all this stuff. I love these kids. I care about their families, and I care about them, and I care about them flourishing throughout the next, you know, four years, you know. I care about everybody, you know. You know, care about everybody. I want to see everybody learn, build, and grow in a prosperous, successful, prosperous, successful, humane, loving, caring, humble, nurturing environment for all. Jesus, above all, when you are spiritually saved, and where's what it means to ball? Hope that sounded nice to y'all. Well, yeah, it says two days ago, parents voiced frustration with school district rezoning. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously click on this and probably, uh, uh, there's actually only two reports about it. But um, here's the thing. My take on that rezoning thing is because, um, again, I live here in Nocatee Enclave, and here's how it goes. I, to a certain degree, the zoning almost doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I do not understand how they're, how they're, um, how do I put this? The entire Nocatee area is zoned for Nice, right? But I'm pretty sure... Um, what's it called? Ponte Vedra High School is the closest school to the closest high school to me, but yet I'm zoned for Nice. And again, I'm not fully complaining whatsoever. I love Nice High School with all my heart and soul. Again, live and die for the school. Love love everybody in it. And again, I just want to. And again, I again I promoted every day. I promoted every song pretty much. But you get the point. But 
true enough, when we first moved out here in 2013, I thought to myself, and even my mother thought to herself, how is it that, how is it that you know, we were zoned? Or how is it that I was zoned for me to not Ponte Vedra High School when I believe Ponte Vedra High School is the closest one to me? Because think about it, how is it that I'm zoned for, how is it that everybody in Nagati is zoned for, for, um, for Nice High School, but yet for middle school, all the kids are zoned for, for Landrum? Unless they go someplace else for academy reasons and whatever else, you get the point. Because Valley Ridge Academy opened up in 2014. Shout out, God bless all my Valley Ridge kids. Yeah, I'm trying to sing a little bit there, but forgive me if it sounds still sounds terrible. But you get the point. This is me doing some local reporting. Some local reporting. I'm also not out in the streets anywhere doing the reporting, but this is also me doing some local reporting on the county that I love and care about deeply and dearly. And the kids that are, and the kids and their families and their parents are being affected by all this stuff like that. Because again, they're trying to battle rezoning uh, and stuff like that. But simple as that. Because I still don't understand how it is that some kids are zoned for for middle school. I still don't kind of understand how some of these kids are or all of them are zoned. Or at least the ones that live on this side, Enclave, Coastal Oaks, so on and so forth. I don't understand how they're zoned for. Landry Middle School and Ocean Palm Elementary when Valley Ridge is right over there in Greenleaf. I never understood that. I never understood how I was on for a niece instead of Ponte Vedra High School. I never understood that. I never understood it whatsoever. The zoning doesn't, the zoning, at least for me, doesn't make any sense. Almost. But hey, hopefully somebody will definitely explain the zoning to me. And again, St. John's County School District, once again, I'm not dissing you. I love you. I care about you so, so very much. I promote you every single day of my life, pretty much. Okay? Simple as that. But I, but someone, someone, please, you know, hit me up and explain the zoning to me because I really don't understand it, and I know a lot of people don't understand it either. For example, that new K through A school that they're building right there across from Davis Park, um, I heard from, I think I heard, don't know where I heard it from, but somebody, some, some people told me that, you know, it, it the first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, it makes perfect sense if. Because I don't know what they're going to name that school, but honestly, I think they should name it Palm Valley Academy. Like, what? Think about it. Palm Valley, why not name it Palm Valley Academy? It's pretty much through Palm Valley anyway, to a certain degree. So I think they should name it Palm Valley Academy. But that's just my opinion. But here's the thing. It doesn't make a lot of sense for the kids who go to that new K-8 school that is currently being built, like, right there across from Davis Park. I believe so. You know, it doesn't make... And, okay... Cross from Davis Park, cross from that New Gate gas station, and cross Water Church. You get the point. But it doesn't make much sense to me that um, that uh, that with that new K through eight school, which again I am an ambassador, a proud and loyal guy for his once in a shame ambassador. I'll be promoting promoting it all even after the day I die. This stuff will be etched to my grave. Nagati, Ponte Vedra, San Jose, Nice, St. John's County, Duval County. State of Florida, it will all be etched on my grave. I love this stuff, and I'm an ambassador for it. I'll be promoting it even after the day I die. Uh, eight minutes, and it may, but you get the point I'm trying to make here. Is the fact being, it that the, the zoning doesn't make any sense. How, how you mean to tell me? Because here's the thing, that school, that K through eight school, is closer to Ponte Vedra High School than it is Nice High School. So I don't understand why, or I don't understand how any kid that goes to that school. You know, after they after they 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 leave it from their eighth grade year, I don't understand how they're zoned for Nice and not Ponte Vedra High School. That's just, that that's just my opinion because again, it's right there. It's closer to Ponte Vedra High School than it is, you know. But there's plenty of kids that have told me before that hey, they're you know hey where they live they're closer to one school, but they're or they're zoned for one school, but because on but because you know a certain school only picks up in this or that neighborhood, they go to Nice or they go to Pedro or they go wherever, wherever they go. Like they're zoned for one school, but they're definitely going to another one because that school, that that school is the one that picks up in their, their uh, neighborhood. So forth and so forth. You get the point I'm trying to make here. You know, the, you know, the point I'm trying to make here. The zoning doesn't fully make a lot of sense to me, but totally um, anybody from St. John's County School District that y'all want to hit me up and explain it to me, you know, I'd be more than happy to do that because once again, I'll be more than happy to listen to it and learn about it and whatever else. Or just post it on your website or something like that. Because like I said, I'd be more than happy to learn how all this zoning works and whatever else. And note that again, 
I will be promoting all of this for the growth and development. Even after the day I die, they're going to have to etch it on my grave. Legitimately, St. John's County, me, St. John's County, Virginia, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, have to etch it all on my grave. Because, again, I love this stuff, and I'm, I'm an ambassador for it, and I would die for it. God first, one thing I'm saying, God first, God, everything. I would die for it. So, once again, 10 minutes is this video. So, it says, Growing Pains, Parents Voice, Frustration with School District, Rezoning, Uh... Proposals. Uh, I've never been to Patriots Academy a day in my life. I've never been to that or Liberty Pines Academy or Swiss Swim Point. I've never been to a few of these other schools out here. But once again, shout out was my uh, dearly beloved school of Valley Ridge Academy. Even though I never went there as a school student, I'm still a highly promoted person of the school. Actually, how do I put this? In a way that actually makes what I just said make, it make sense and actually be true. Uh, I promote the school highly and heavily. But again, I promote the entire St. Thomas County highly and heavily. I promote the entire state of Florida. Highly and heavily. But what I mean is, again, I I live in Knoxville, Enclave, so I live fairly close to it because, again, it's located in Greenleaf. So my point there is being, should I got was Valley Ridge Academy because, again, I live again very close to it and I promote it so very much, so very dearly. I love everybody there. Should I got was the faculty and staff. Should I got was everybody there. Should I got was everybody in Greenleaf and Austin Park. Everybody, I love y'all. You know what's up? Me, your board of manager to the city. I'm an ambassador of all of this. And uh, so forth and so forth. But, um, yeah, never been to Patriot Oaks, never been to Liberty Ponds. And, again, never even went to Valley Ridge as a school student. But I have um, uh, but, but I have been to the school, but I haven't been there as a school student. But still, I again, for the past few years, I've been meeting kids who, um, who came from the Valley Ridge and giving me their take on how the school's been, so forth and so forth. I've gotten mixed reviews. I ain't even a lot. I've gotten mixed, mixed reviews. But still, overall, I love the school and I look forward to it continuously growing and growing and growing and growing onward to a sand and silver, clean, happy, better tomorrow for all. Jesus above all, when you are a spiritual saving words of means of all. Because I love everybody. I love the further growth and development. And I love all the kids that are coming, you know, through there and out of there every single year, accomplishing their, their dreams, coming in the nieces of freshmen and again, building their own four-year legacy right there in these high schools. Again, I love it all. I'm an ambassador for it all. You know what? That's what this type. This, this that. That's what this video will be titled, "Ambassador for It All." But again, here it goes. Um, and shout out to all the kids at Patriot Oaks Academy and Liberty Pines Academy. Yeah. And again, uh, Patriot Oaks Academy, Liberty Pines Academy. Yeah, I just sang that right quick. And um, again, I shout out. I'm pretty sure I shouted both those songs, both those schools out in my song called uh, "Ivy's Cove." Which is off my um, Break the Internet album, if I'm not mistaken. But it says right here, one of the... Uh, uh, and by the way, no offense to Patriots Academy, but it never made any sense to me. Why is your mascot the Chargers instead of Patriots? Patriot Oaks Patriots? And like, no offense, but wouldn't that have made a tad bit more sense than Patriot Oaks Chargers? I'm not saying I don't like the Chargers, but at the same time, doesn't that make a tad bit more sense? Patriot Oaks Patriots instead of Patriot Oaks Chargers? Hey, I'm just saying. It's just a suggestion. But I'll, I love and support y'all regardless. You know it. That's me, NJ to the City. Proud ambassador of all of this. Leg legitimately. Care about y'all. God bless. But here's what it says. One of the unfortunate side effects of St. John's County uh, rapid growth is, and I love all this rapid growth. I would die for it. I'm an ambassador for all of this rapid growth. I promote it every single day of my life. God first knows. And I'm acting like this because again how excited I am continuously for the further growth and development and how passionate I am about the further growth and, de further growth and development and why? because I love people I love people I love learning them and hearing their stories and learning, building, and growing with them simple as that, I love people God first, one sixteen. I understand God first got over everything but yeah, here it goes the continuation of it. I probably won't have enough time to get into this. Uh, get it. Yeah, get into it with this. So I'll continue this in another video. Once again, St. Johnson County, always in favor. No, I love you. I care about you. I'm an ambassador for all this further growth and development. I said it like three or four times in this video. I'm an ambassador for it all. And you'll have to edge it on my grave because I'll never stop going. I will never stop promoting this. I love people too much. And it's just awesome. So once again, take care. Hope um, St. Johnson County figures this out when it comes to this rezoning stuff and hopefully all the kids and parents and their families uh, can agree to it and it can all flourish out sane and soberly uh, 
and efficiently for all. Once they understand, your board of managers to the city, out. Indeed to the city, you know what's up.